firefighters fast to save lives. As firefighters, we go to all types of emergencies. That's me! This is called a pumper. This is a pumper truck. We learn how to protect people and property as well as ourselves. Anytime we want to put out a fire that starts with gasoline, oil, kerosene, or other flammable liquids. This is a lot tougher than it looks. Hi, boys and girls. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a firefighter? Well, Duncan and his friends would like to invite you to come on into the fire and rescue department. Would you like to see what firefighters do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, let's go. Okay, Mark, come on, Sandra. Look at the fire truck. Mark, Sandra, let's go look for a firefighter. Hey, Radio, isn't Duncan supposed to be here? You know what, Mark? I think you're right. Duncan? 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 Where's Duncan? Here I am. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi. Sandra. Hi, Mark. Hi, Lady O. Hi, Duncan. How do you like the fire station? Cool. Oh, yeah. And you know, we're going to learn all sorts of stuff about firefighting and fire safety and fire prevention. Oh, it's very, very interesting and very challenging work. And we're going to learn all about it from our friend, Firefighter Lieutenant Joe Battaglia. So let's meet our new friend, Firefighter Lieutenant Joe Battaglia. Hey, Joe, how are you? How you doing? Joe, these are my friends, Sandra, Mark, and Lady O. Lady O. Hi. Welcome to the firehouse. Thank you, Joe. Hey, Joe, we're real excited to learn all about fighting fires. Well, you've come to the right place. Let me tell you a little bit about firefighting. As firefighters, we go on all calls. We go on accidents, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, and fires. Would you guys like to know a little bit more about firefighting? Yeah! Uh, maybe you guys like to go to the fire academy. Yeah. What's a fire academy? Well, a fire academy is where we teach the basics of firefighting. In other words, what firemen are trained to do when they respond to calls. Let me see if I can get some transportation for you. Oh, that's okay, Joe. I'm a magic dragon. We can get there all on our own. Adios, dude. One, two, three. Lois, how are you? Hi, Duncan, how are you? I'm fine. Lieutenant Lois Hopwood, these are my friends Sandra, Mark, and you know Lady O. Hi, how's everyone? Is this where firefighters go to school? Yes, it is. We call it our academy. What do they learn here? We learn how to protect people and property as well as ourselves. Some of the things we learn at the academy is what causes fire and how to put it out. We also learn about car accidents and the best way to approach a vehicle that's been in an accident so we don't get hurt. We also learn water rescue and we learn a lot about first aid because we're usually the first people on the job. Wow. wow. I guess you live here too because I see you have a nice apartment house. Well, Duncan, it seems like we live here. This is our smoke tower. And what we do is we pretend a lot and this is how we learn a real situation by using this building and setting up different scenes like a smoke scene or a rescue scene of somebody from the window with our ladders. We learn all kinds of things and we have to pretend what the different situations might be. Neat. So maybe we could go see a few of them? Sure, I'd love to show you around. Okay. Well, why don't we go take a walk this way? When the elevator is not working in a tall building and you can't reach the windows with a ladder, then firefighters have to climb down from the roof on a rope. In this training exercise, Firefighter Ralph is pretending to be a victim who is trapped by a fire. Here comes Firefighter Dale climbing down on his rope. 
Firefighters call that rappelling. Firefighter Dale is a member of a specially trained group of firefighters called the Shark Team. The Shark Team is needed for water or dive rescues, for people who are trapped in a small, confined area such as a well, and for high-rise rescues like this. See how the smoke rises? That's why we have to crawl on the floor to escape from a fire. When Firefighter Dale gets to the window, he hooks Firefighter Ralph to the belt on Dale's waist. This is called a pick-off. Then they come out of the window with their legs wrapped around each other. Just like when you and a friend sit together face to face on a swing in the playground. Firefighter Dale now lowers both of them to the safety net on the ground. Wow, isn't that awesome? And this is Firefighter Stan Geesey. Hi, everybody. Stan, Hi. this is Sandra, Mark, and Lady oh. O. Hi, Mark. Hi, Lady O. Hi. Hey, Firefighter Stan, what is all this? Looks like something from the space shuttle. Sure it does, but it shouldn't be intimidating. This is all really simple stuff. It's just uh, handles that we use to make the water come out of these different nozzles. Oh, what do you mean, nozzle? Well, each one of these uh, ports is attached to a fire hose, and that's what we attach our nozzles to to put the fires out. Uh-huh. So this is a special kind of fire truck. This is called a pumper. This is a pumper oh. truck. Wow. Does a pumper truck have water in it? Sure it does. It carries 500 gallons. This one does. Hey, that's a lot of water. What if 500 gallons isn't enough water? 500 gallons isn't enough. Hopefully there's a fire hydrant close by. Uh -huh. But if there's not a fire hydrant close by, then we can we can use a swimming pool or lake or anything that's a big body of water that's close by. Wow. So is that all a pumper truck does? No, we have lots of things that a pumper truck does. We carry lots of things on this truck. What else can this truck do? We have lots of tools on this truck, lots of special tools. Yeah, I can see some right over there now. This is a pick-headed axe. It's used to break doors down. And as you can see, it's got lots of dirt on it. We use it quite a bit. This is our Jaws of Life and Hearst tool. And this is the power unit. And this is the Jaws of Life. That's what we use to get people out of cars. It's called extra cake. And that's our bell. Uh oh! That's our bell. Someone needs rescuing! That's a call? That's a call for our fire truck. Wow. It happens to be a rescue call, which we do a lot of. We don't all, only go to fires, we go to rescue calls too. Some people need us for medical emergencies and we respond to those too. That's right. Lieutenant Joe told us about that earlier. Yeah. Here they go! Hey, see ya! Bye, guys.
boy, oh boy, they just got back from the fire, and firefighters Sandra Mashad and David Pugh, they're gonna show us all about their cool stuff that they use to fight the fires. What is all this stuff? Well, why don't you gather around and I'll tell you all about it. Okay. First we have Firefighter Pugh, he's gonna put on his boots. How come his boots are already in his pants like that? Well, that's because it's easier to get into. It's quicker that way. Yeah, oh yeah, I see that. Okay, now he's got some big heavy-duty rubber boots on. That's to protect our feet from the flame and the heat. Boy. And he's got these big pants with big pockets. That's so he can keep tools in, special tools. He's got his suspenders on to help keep his pants up because they do kind of get a little heavy. What's he putting on now? That's called the sock hood. That protects his ears. He's gonna pull that over his head. It'll protect his ears and his face. Bet he looks like King Arthur with that on. Now he's putting on his heavy coat. His coat is made of the same material as his pants and it keeps his upper body safe from the flames. I'll bet it does. What's that on the floor there? That's his air pack. He's gonna put that on his back with a mask and that helps him breathe fresh air when he goes into a fire. That way he keeps his lungs safe. Wow. Wow, that's serious work. It gets a little heavy too. That's why firefighters have to be in real good shape, huh? That's right, you gotta keep working out. Just like Firefighter Dave. Firefighter Dave. <laughs> now here comes the mask. He's gonna put it on his face. And strap it in real tight so no smoke gets in there. And this is all done real quick because when there's a fire, we have to be fast and get there real quick. Now he turns his tank on, and the last thing he puts on is his helmet. That protects his head from any flame, smoke, or heat, and it also helps in case something falls down on him. Wow. Ah. Oh, gosh, that's almost scary looking with all that stuff on. Well, some people might think so, but just remember, he's here to help you. He sure is. Boy, oh boy. And anyone can be a firefighter if they're in good shape. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Anybody can be a firefighter. That's right. Firefighter Dave has a lot of heavy clothes on. We call this bunker gear. Now remember, don't be afraid of him when he's dressed up like this. He may look funny and sound funny, but remember, don't run from him. He's there to help you. If you're in a fire, then you want to run to him. Make sure you don't run away from him, okay? Firefighter is your friend and he's here to help you. Wow. Well, thank you very much, Firefighter Sandra and Firefighter Dave. Wow, this was a real learning experience. Kids, this is driver engineer Ralph Diaz. Hi, kids. Hi, Hi. Leo. Hi. Hey, Ralph, that was some fire, but I saw you used foam. Why do you use foam? Well, you use foam anytime a fire starts with gasoline, kerosene, oil, or any other flammable liquid. And it puts out the fire and it keeps it from spreading. Oh. Say, would you guys like to try on some bunker gear? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll go get it. Wait a minute, Ralph. You guys keep forgetting I'm a magic dragon. Watch this. One, two, three. <laughs> wow, you kids look great. That's real cool. Hey, hey, Ralph, I was wondering, could I do that phone thing over there? Sure. All right. OK, kids, why don't you and I stay here while Ralph and Duncan go over there and demonstrate for us? OK, let's go. Boom, 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 boom.
we've heard about fighting fires, let's learn about fire safety with fire prevention specialist Leslie Backus and my good friend Sparky the Fire Dog. Thanks, Duncan. My friend Sparky and I are here today to talk to you about some things that will help keep you safe from fire. What is it, Sparky? Matches and lighters. Good boy, good boy. Matches and lighters are tools for adults to use. So if you see matches and lighters, you don't play with them. Be sure to give them to a grown-up so they can put them in a safe place. If your clothes catch on fire, there are some things that are very important for you to do. And Sparky's going to show us what they are. If your clothes catch on fire, the first thing that you do is stop. Never run because that'll make the fire worse. Drop all the way to the ground and cover your face with your hands. Now roll back and forth till all the flames are out. Back and forth. Good job, Sparky. Now let's talk about smoke detectors. Smoke detectors are especially important because they'll wake you up if there's a fire in your home in time for your, you and your family to escape. They're placed high on the ceiling or on the wall and they just need to be tested at least once a month by pressing this button until you hear the loud beeping noise. Another safety tip we'll talk about today is making a fire escape plan. Now let's visit a family who's practicing theirs. Operation Edith, which means exit drills in the home. The first step to ensure your family's fire safety is to have a plan to get out of your home with two ways out of each room. It only takes a few minutes to make one. The fire department where you live should have the family fire safety worksheet available. We urge you to sit down with your family and use the worksheet to plan your escape from the fire. Draw a map of the inside of your home showing windows and doors. Mark it with the arrows to show the way you will leave when you hear the alarm. Establish the place where everyone will meet outside and choose who will go to the neighbor's house to call the fire department. Be sure everyone knows that once they are out, they stay out. They don't go back for any reason. To practice the plan, start with your family in their rooms. Sound the alarm. Everyone should roll out of bed and crawl to the door. Touch the door handle with the back of your hand. First, pretend it is hot. Then crawl to the window to exit. Make sure you learn the right way to open it and how to climb out. Next, pretend the door isn't hot. Open it very carefully and check for smoke and heat. Have everyone crawl out of their rooms and out of the house. Remember to crawl low. Cleaner air is close to the ground. Once at the meeting place, choose someone who will go to the neighbor's house and call the fire department. Good job, Gary. Emphasize to children the danger of trying to hide from fire. And remind everyone, once out, stay out.
Why, we sure learned a lot about putting out fires, didn't we? Yeah, but now we have to go. Bye! Remember, boys and girls, always be safe and be good. Bye! 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 Bye. Down in the Everglades on a high, dry hammock, a visitor from another place has set up his home. Duncan, a magical Caribbean water dragon, was flying over his island home when Hurricane Andrew blew him off course. When Duncan landed, he began to sing, and this is how we found him. Now, along with his owl friend, Lady O, Duncan has made many new friends. Come on, boys and girls, let's see what fun they have planned for us today. Dragon, and this is my friend Lady O. Hi, boys and girls. It's great you could be with us today. Yeah. Hey, how would you guys like to hear my rap alphabet? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. A is for apple. You pick from the tree. Boy, who's playing with me? C is for cat, who sits on the wall. D is for dog, who comes when you call. E is for elephant, so big and strong. F is for frog, who croaks you a song. Hey kids, now it's time to have some fun with Duncan's rap alphabet. Duncan is going to start singing again, and when he stops on a letter, Let's all think of a word that begins with that letter. A, B. B, okay. Who can tell me a word that starts with B? Bat. Boat. Ball. Bird. C. C, okay. Who can tell me a word that starts with C? Keys. Cookie, call, ten. The next song is a favorite with all the children I know. Hey, Kina, do you know the hand movements of the itsy bitsy spider? Sure, Duncan, we all do. Well, you can just forget them because we got real spiders. <laughs> well, 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 sort of. If you can guess which song is next. Hmm, is it Hush Little Baby? Very good, Glenn. You know, when I was just a wee little dragon, wasn't much bigger than an iguana, my sweet mother, oh, my, you got a sweet mother, don't you? Of course you do. Why, I, she used to sing Hush Little Dragon Breath to me.
looks like we have time for just one more song. In school, I learn when the saints go marching in. Yay, that's a great song. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh, when the saints. 